Hi folks, Milan Navida here with Permit Sonoma, Deputy Director of Planning, and I'm here with Supervisors Gorn and Supervisor Rabbit looking at the Sonoma Developmental Center. We we're just fortunate enough to be here with Gerald McLaughlin at the State uh, Department of General Services, getting another tour of the site, a little bit more familiar with everything that goes on on this campus in anticipation of coming out soon with our recommendation for the consultant that's going to help us through the planning for the future of this site. Uh, and we'll be coming to the board soon uh, with our recommendation. And I'm Susan Gore, and I really want to thank the community for staying so engaged in the discussion about the future of this beautiful campus. We've just been on a tour of some of the buildings trying to understand what buildings might be usable in the short term in anticipation of a really robust community engagement process to continue the discussions about what you want to see on this campus. And I'm pleased that our chair is here. He wanted to have a tour of the campus uh, so that he actually has a much better idea of understanding all of the buildings and the beauty of this campus. Yeah, no, thank you for allowing me into Sonoma Valley and uh, to actually get a, you know, I've driven by this uh, uh, Sonoma Developmental Center for uh, decades, but never really got in on the campus, certainly haven't been in the buildings. And uh, I think it's, uh, it's an amazing, spectacular piece of property. It has tremendous opportunities and it has tremendous challenges. And uh, I look forward to the process that we're about to embark on and uh, getting our consultant uh, under contract, but most importantly, supporting uh, the supervisor and the community of Sonoma Valley and really the entire county of making sure that this location is for future generations uh, what it needs to be for our county, for the community, for the valley. Uh, and again, it's ex exciting times. We need to thank so many people uh, for getting us to this point, but most especially the Department of Developmental Services, the Department of General Services, who are now uh, managing this site, and our incredible state legislators for hearing us and advocating for local decision-making process. So one thing we found out today is the, uh, the incredible amount of buildings that are here on the campus, uh, all the utilities are interconnected. It makes it much more difficult to take one building and have it be a specific use for, even for an interim period of time without making a pretty large, if not huge investment. Yes. And um, we also, obviously with older buildings, you have accessibility issues, you have uh, hazardous materials, be it perhaps lead, perhaps asbestos and um, obviously as well as other code issues, uh, whether it's seismically safe and, and whatnot. So again, lots of challenges. Uh, these are things that we could work through, but uh, it's gonna be a while before we can really make that happen. And just look at this beautiful campus. I know you'll see some gorgeous shots from it and it is a beautiful fall day. The trees are incredible. It just invites people to be a part of the future of this campus.